Happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope you're having a great day and we're going to kind of talk about how you did with the pause and then what are their next steps moving forward. So, hi everyone. I'm Teresa Ramirez, your kindness coach, and welcome to Journey in Kindness. And let's start with practicing your pause. How did you do this past week? Did you need the sticky notes as a reminder? Did you use maybe bubbles as a reminder? Because when you go to blow bubbles, it gives you that deep breath that you need to practice that pause. Um, did you use maybe like a little stone, something that would just help you remi to remind you that you need to make a pause before you react? So please comment below. I'd love to know everyone's tips on how they decided to practice the pause. All right, we're going to move forward today. Now that we have practiced that pause, what are we going to say? What are we going to post on social media? Well, I have, I have my tricks. <laughs> so, I'm going to pull this out here so you all can see it. So before you speak, before you hit that post button, send button, you have to ask yourself three questions. Is what you're going to say true? Is what you're going to say necessary? And is what you're going to say kind? And if it does not fit all three categories, you don't speak it, you don't post it. And that's, again, if you're practicing the pause, you have time to think about this. Now, what you're going to say might be true and in your mind necessary, but is it kind? Think about it. This is, goes back to you're being the CEO of your family and you want to set your values forth and you're gonna be the example. So you might have to go back to what do I value? What is my philosophy that I wanna pass down to my children? Think about that and then pause and say, is what I have to say true, necessary, and kind? And again, if it's not all three yeses to all three questions, you don't say it, you don't post it. Really simple. And remember, your children do read your posts. A lot of people think, oh, no, they don't. I said, oh, they do. And they listen to you. If you're speaking to someone over the phone at home or you're talking to someone in the car, your children are listening. So also keep that in mind because what you say is what they're going to emulate. And you have to keep that all in mind. And again, what values do you want to instill in your children. Okay, it's real quick this week. So how's the practicing the pause going? And now that you have paused, is what you're gonna say true, necessary, and kind? And remember, your children are watching, they're reading, and they're hearing you. All right, everybody, please share your thoughts down below in the group, I'd really appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit like and share that would be wonderful. That keeps getting the kindness message out there. And I will see you next Tuesday.